yeah let us start uh, the next program which is 16 bit addition as well as we will see 16 bit subtraction uh, aim of the program is i want to add two 16 bit numbers imagine there are two 16 bit uh, numbers 0001 in hexa and 0005 in hexa i am storing my first data 0001 in a register ax and storing my second data in register bx and then i want to add ax and bx so as you all know this is a hexa representation of uh, the 16 bit data in binary you know 0001 is what is the equivalent of 0 1 2 3 4 0 0 0 1 okay which is nothing but this is the binary equivalent of 0 0 0 1 so it is a 16 bit data i want to add the 16 bit data with 0 0 0 5 so write the hexa equivalent 0 0 0 5 5 is 0 1 0 1 okay suppose if i perform addition of these two numbers what is that i yield 1 plus 1 is 0 and i carry 1 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 is 1 again 1 0 since it is all zeros you know it is 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 0 so what is the value you get 0 1 1 0 is nothing but 6 0 0 0 this is hexadecimal equivalent of this binary so uh, let us store see how we will store it in memory location so what is that i need to do i need to add 0 0 0 1 and 0 0 0 5 store the result consecutively so first lower order what is the first lower order here 0 1 is the lower order 0 0 is a higher order in a 16 bit number this is my lower order this is my higher order 0 1 what is 0 1 here 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 so i store my first lower order and then i need to store my higher order as you all know every memory location each location can carry maximum 8 bits more than 8 bit it has to go for the next memory location so lower order first data lower order data i will store in one location next data i will store in the next location this two location carry ax data now i need to store bx my lower order is 0 5 higher order is 0 0 this is my bx Whatever result I have yielded. What is my result? My result is 0, 0, 0, 006. I need to store it in memory location. How will I store? First I will store my lower order. So here I will store my lower order 0, 06. And the next location I will store my higher order 0, 00. So sum will be stored in the next two locations. Carry will be stored in the next two locations clear so what is the aim of the program the aim of the program is to add two 16 bit numbers stored consecutively first two locations is for first data next two locations is for bx next two locations is for sum and consecutive next two is for carry let us start the program you know the starting address is 2030 2030 is a memory location i have started storing my data first data so see the program now so what is the program for uh, first i need to uh, move 0000 to cx so i'm clearing a register called count register which is equal to 0000 why i'm clearing it i want to use this register if there is any carry i will set this register so cx i made it all zeros what is my next step move the data 2030 to si you know 2030 is nothing but the starting address starting address of my first data can you see 2030 is the starting address of my first data so 2030 is the starting address i'm moving it to source index so si is a register 16 bit register that is storing what 2030 now move 
to the location pointed by this SI. Take the data and move it to AX. So, what, what is there inside this bracket? SI. What is the value of SI? 2030. So, 2030. It goes to memory location 2030 takes the first data and store it in AL register and goes to the next higher location 2031 takes the second data and store it in AH. So, AL and AH will form AX. So, what is my job here? Go to the memory location pointed by 2030, take the data and move it to AX. Since AX is AL and AH, AL stores the data in 2030. AH stores the data in 2031. One single instruction will do this complete operation. Okay. Now, where is my pointer standing? My pointer is in location 2031. So, I have taken my first data. Now, what I need to do is add SI0002. So, what is my SI value 2030? 2030 is my SI value. What is that I am going to do? I am going to add it 0002. If I add 0002 to it, what is the output I get? 2302, which is nothing but 2032. This is the place, 2032 is the place where I have my second data, BX. The, for that reason, I am adding SI0002. So, now what is my current SI value? 2032. So, go to the location 2032, take the data, move it to BX. So, you know BX is nothing but BL and BH. So, go to the location 2032, take the first data 05, move it to BL, take the second data 00 and move it to BH. Okay. Now, what do you need to do? Add AX and BX. What is AX? AX is 0001. What is BX? 0005. If I add AX and BX, what is the output I get? 0006, which is stored in AX. Always, what is the operation of AX? Add AX, comma BX. AX is added with BX. The result is stored back again in AX. So, my AX value is now 0006, in which AL is 06. AH is carrying 00. Now, I need to store the answer 0006 in the memory location. So, now what I will do for that, first I will check if I got any carry. Jump if there is no carry. Do we have any carry here? No. Since there is no carry, I am jumping to location L1. Okay, I am jumping to location L1. What is that I am doing in here? Adding SI0002. What is my current SI? 2032. So, 2032 is added with 0002. What is the output I get? 4302. 2034. So, I will go to this location where I need to store what? My sub. So, immediately I will move. AX, what is my AX value? Here you know it is 0006. So, I will move my 0006 to location SI. So, what happens? What is pointed by SI? SI here you know SI is 2034. So, I will go to location 2034, 2034 location, store my first lower order 06 and then go to 2035 store my next higher order 00. Once this is done, I have stored my sum. Now, I need to store my carry. To store my carry, I need to go to 2036. To go to 2036, directly I cannot jump. So, what I have to do to the current SI. What is current SI? 2034. 2034. Add 2 to it. If I add 2 to it, I, I get the location where I need to jump. So, go to this location. In this location, I need to add my carry. As you all know, after some, you need to put your carry. Where is your carry sitting? Carry is all zeros, which is in CX. Take the CX, move the CX from, store it in the location pointed by SI. What is your current SI? 2036. So, what is the value of CX? All zeros. That zeros will sit in, lower order sits in 2036, higher order will sit in 2037. After completing this, 
interrupt, stop the program and come out of the loop. So this is the operation of 16. We have done with 16-bit addition students. Now we will see 16-bit subtraction program. The program for 16-bit subtraction is same. What we need to do is in this particular place, instead of writing add ax, bx, you need to write it as subtract ax, bx. That is the only change you need to do for subtraction. If I say add ax, bx, you all know it performs addition of ax with bx and store the result in ax. If it needs to perform subtraction, instead of add, you will write sub. So what it does is it subtracts bx from ax and stores the result in ax. If a borrow is generated here, which will be indicated in cx. If a carry is generated during the addition, that would be indicated in a register cx. That is the only change you have to do for this problem. Thank you.